Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Oh, yeah. More new shit. This today is brought to us from Vastid. Vastid has been uh, dropping new knives pretty frequently. And um, I've bought in most of them, to be honest with you. I like what they do. You know, they have a, uh, they seem to have their niche. And um, I seem to be fucking hook, line, and sinker with them. This today's uh, knife we're going to be taking a look at is the Corgi. Cute little bastard, right? I don't know what the deal is with all these uh, animal names. I guess they are some animal lovers. Which is nothing wrong with that. I'm an animal lover too. But um, let's get into it. But first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment. And most importantly, subscribe, goddammit. It does help the channel, it does trick that algorithm, and it does help your boy to go viral. All right, fuckers, enough of that. The Corgi. Uh, this knife was a rather really short pre-order. I think they they dropped on, um, they were available for order on the 20 or the 14th of February. I just got mine yesterday, yesterday being March 4th, and it was $59 for that. We're looking at an overall length of 7.17 inches. Our blade length's coming in just under three inches at 2.99 inches. Our blade width is coming in at 84 hundredths of an inch. Handle length is coming in at 4.18 inches. Our blade stock thickness is 118 thousandths. This is constructed in 14C 28N blade steel. They have reported the uh, HRC on this is 58 to 62. We have a uh, flat grind. There, there are four versions of this, uh, of this model. The version you see in front of you has a PVD stonewash blade, which I really like. Not a fan of PVD coating, but if you stonewash it after that, sign me the fuck up. Locking mechanism on this knife is what they refer to as the Trek lock. So it's their interpretation or their iteration of a button lock. Um, we have nice micarta scales. Not the best quality I've seen, but considering the price point, well done in my opinion. Uh, overall weight on this knife is coming in at 3.53 ounces. The pocket clip is right hand tip up carry only. And for the most part, it is a deep carry. Uh, the knife is a fidgety one. You have a couple of forms of deployment, your standard flipper, your front flipper, as well as the, you can actuate the button itself. Now back to the button, uh, you can see here it is a recessed button and it does have a little bit of texture on it. Let's see if I can get this camera to fucking do right. There you go. You see a little bit of texture. The, um, the liners are stainless steel, and they are well concealed. One, one, one of the features I'm really digging out the gate on this knife is when it is closed, you can't even tell it's a goddamn knife. Like, that looks like uh, one of those little vape pens or something, you know? Not that I would know, but... Um, so you have a discreet carry, compact size, fidgety, $59, 14C. I think I think they got a winner on this. Might not necessarily be my jam, but, you know, I can appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, they do also have these brass plate inserts on here. Good for aesthetics, but also good for stability, according to them. We have recessed uh, body screws. Very minimal, too, because we only have the, the two holding in that... Uh, what appears to be the back spacer. That's right. And it does have a lanyard post for the weirdos. So they got y'all covered. They did match up that back spacer with the micarta. So I'm assuming all versions are the same. I do believe they have a couple in G10. So I would imagine that they are G10 back spacers with the uh, same color as the scales. Uh, 
cage bearings, if I haven't said that already. Let's throw up a couple of knives because some of us aren't number people and we're more visual. So I'm gonna oblige. Time to do a little knife flex. I'm gonna keep it in the same budget realm for the most part. So up there we have the Petrified Fish Nightingale. Hands down, one of the ugliest knife releases of uh, 2022. But I love it. It's got a special place in my heart. Keeping that same Petrified Fish energy. We got it up there against the Scout. That's one of my favorite Petrified Fishes, true story. Both of those actually. So there you see it up against the uh, Nightingale and up against the Scout. So we're, we're in the same ballpark for the most part. Let's throw it up there against its uh, older brother, which would be the Rostied Raccoon. That's what started the uh, all the drama last year with the button lock fiasco. Next up, Miguron Acri. One of the best goddamn budget knife releases last year, hands fucking down. So there you see it up against the Raccoon and up against the Acri. Let's do two mo, goddamn it, two mo. Let's throw it up there against the legendary QSP Penguin. Oh, man, that fucking penguin. Does it to me every time. And lastly, another budget one. Well, I guess I can't call it budget. It was 100 goddamn dollars. And that is the Real Steel Huggin. There it is up against the penguin. There it is up against the Huggin. Hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of the size of this knife. Uh, oh, more, more, one of the most important tests of all goddamn time is the motherfucker shark. Let's find out. Paper test. Oh, yeah. Yep. She's sharp. That dog is sharp, goddamn it. What y'all think? I'm kind of digging it, man. You know, I, I mean, like I said earlier, might not be my jam. But it might get a little bit of pocket time. If not, the sun can get it. That little fucker. You gotta watch him. Anyways, that's all I got for right now. Stay tuned because I got more hot shit dropping. Love ya. Mean it. Until the next time, cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers. <laughs>